Hi, Assalamualaikum and a very good day. My name is Nana. So today, I want to talk about the destructive earthquake of the Philippines. Number 1. The 1976 Moro Gulf Earthquake In Phil News, May 11, 2019 by Van Garzon, it happened near Mindanao and Sulu of the Philippines and it is recorded at 8 magnitude scale, which is that deep. And to top off, it is accompanied by a devastating tsunami which leaves thousands of deaths. And this Moro Gulf earthquake, it was the deadliest and the greatest earthquake to hit the Philippines in 58 years since the 1918 earthquake in the Salabi Sea. And according to the research that I have done, it is recorded to be at 4,791 deaths 2,288 missing people, 9,928 injured people, and live over 90,000 homeless. Next, as you all know that this earthquake is accompanied by the tsunami. So, thick layers of mud completely destroyed the area, leaving thousands of dead bloated carcasses floating everywhere along with house rubble. However, even the majority of people who live near the coast are proficient swimmer would find it difficult to swim through the seawaters that has mixed with slum sediments to form mud. As you all know that, people who live near the sea knows how to swim, they are very skillful. But because of the surrounding, because of the water that mixed with slum and mud, it hard for them to save themselves, leaving thousands of deaths. And it is recorded that the maximum height of the wave reached over 9 meters, which is high. And when the tsunami struck, most of the victims were swept out to the sea because people had not realized they needed to evacuate to higher ground following the initial earthquake. It is known that during that time, there is no siren or warning by the government or any upper people that makes them that live over thousands of death and during that time it happened just a few minutes after midnight where everyone is in deep sleep so yeah without warning without siren people don't know and next weak tsunami action was also reported all the way to japan the distance between Philippines and Japan is approximately 3,000 kilometers. The wave traveled over 3,000 kilometers to Japan, causing a weak tsunami action. And this is the photos of the Moro Gulf earthquake, the destruction that happened. So, we move on to the mitigation action then. Firstly, President Ferdinand Marcus, following the proclamation of a state of national emergency, local resources were called upon to aid in the relief operation. Next, the President also revised the National Building Code a year later as a result of the 1976 big earthquake and tsunami that hit the Philippines. Furthermore, the local government conducts lots of drill for the earthquake and tsunamis. As you all know in the previous section, it is known that there is no early warning devices that can alert people. So, lots of drill for the earthquake and tsunami has been conducted by the government. Next, he also established the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council's Forerunner in the late 1970s, which is responsible for guaranteeing the safety of the Filipino people during the disaster. Lastly, the reflections and suggestions by me. From the review that I have looked and the research that I have done on this case is that they lack preparedness. In Minda News, there are no tsunami warning and information signage, no drills, no sirens or other early warning devices. As stated that this natural disaster happened during past midnight, which people are in the deep sleep. So without no siren, no early warning, like it just happened. It takes a lot of thousands of deaths. Next, as you all know, the Philippines is located along the Pacific Ocean rings, a fire within 
two to five minutes, this natural disaster can hit Philippines just like that. So, early preparedness should be taken. Furthermore, advanced building materials and skill. For example, a wall that can deflect or that can deflect the tidal wave that can hit the Philippines. This can reduce a lot of casualty. Lastly, sometimes we cannot avoid natural disaster fully, but we can reduce the casualty. By using our knowledge, by using the technology that we have, we can reduce the impact. We can save our people's life. So the last one is citation that I use. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.